I've been um, obsessed with the idea of, of disruptions, unknown disruptions uh, in, in, in music, in time. And so a sonic boom is, is one of my very favorite types of disruptions because it's a, uh, a, a loud shockwave, a loud uh, you know, s clapping shockwave that uh, we hear but we don't know what caused it necessarily. It's you know, obviously from a supersonic aircraft probably somewhere uh, very high in the sky. It's so uh, I used that idea as an impetus to uh, compose the work. The, the first rehearsal is always a terrifying moment uh, for anybody because composers, whether they'll admit it or not, don't necessarily know exactly how the work will sound with live acoustic instruments. You know, we, we sit in our rooms and we think of something and then we write it down, then we give it to the musicians, and then the music, musicians interpret it, or the conductor interprets the music, and so um, there's always this hope that, um, that what we did is what uh, the listeners will in turn hear. So I was, I was excited with the outcome. When I compose a work, I want it to be an adventure. Uh, I want it to be an experience, and so when somebody asks what should the audience listen for, I, I honestly want the listeners to um, open their ears, minds, and not expect anything at all. I mean, I always have to write something about the work, but uh, I'm very careful about what I say so, so as to not give away the music.